Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned how to find the median of grouped data. Today, in this video, we will learn about the relationship between mean, mode and median. We have so far learned about the measures of central tendency of grouped data. That is, the mean the mode and the median separately, whose value are almost equal to each other. Let's understand this by an example. The following frequency distribution represents the points scored by 35 players in a game. Find the mean, the mode and the median from the given data. And also compare them. To get the mean from the above data, substituting the sum of observations and the number of observations in the formula for the mean on solving the mean is obtained as 25.28. If we talk about the mode, then substituting all the values from the above data in the formula for mode and solving. we get the value as 26. So, can you tell what will be the median from the given distribution table? Good. For this, first let's construct the cumulative frequency column where Substituting all the values in the formula for the median and solving, we get the median value as 25.50. Note and tell what are the similarities between the mean, the mode and the median. You are absolutely right. Looking at the values of these three, one can say that these are the nearest values to each other. But if you are given a situation where the values of any two out of these three are given, then can you find the third value? Let's explore this further. For this, the great mathematician Carl Pearson said that a relation between mean, mode, and median would be 3 times the median is almost equal to mode plus 2 times the mean. In this regard, if any two values are kept in this relation, then we can get the third value. Here, according to our convenience, we can write this relation in any way. Today, in this video, we learn to find the relationship between the mean, the mode and the median. In the next video, we will see interesting examples based on this.